What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing in the English League. We're going to be playing an offline match on Legend difficulty as you see here. This is the squad that we're rocking with. We're going to see you guys at kickoff. So it's a fairly good squad that we have. Manchester United and you know and City and a couple of um, Liverpool players and Chelsea and Rosicki. Rosicki there as well. So we are going to just play on with this and see how we go. And I'm just going to give you my gameplay impressions on the offline game and where we're at at the moment. So I will see you guys at kickoff in just a minute. All right, let's, we're going to just go straight into this match and try and get a win. We are playing against Arsenal. Um, and I'm just going to be focused on the AI and how they actually play against me. So I'm going to try and let them play a little bit of ball and see what they do. Uh, I, I already played a couple of gameplay or games online. So I have my gameplay online impressions there. Um... Yeah, and it's it's going to be a similar thing in this, man. I do feel like there's still, you know, a lot to be done to this game to make it really, really viable. Um, I like the dribbling. I like the passing. That's a nice bit of play there. Oh, Bernardo! That's a lovely goal, lads. The dribbling is definitely improved. The responsiveness is definitely improved. Uh, you can see that even offline against the Legend AI. Once you kind of wrong foot the AI and you take them out of the equation, whether it's online or whether it's offline, you always kind of get into those pockets of space. Lovely little double touch. Left him sitting and in the bottom corner. Frustrating if you're the defender there, but we are playing against the Legend AI. So obviously, you know, you should be able to beat him for skills. It's all about kind of, you know, I want a football game where, yes, I want it to be fun. And, you know, I sit down and I want to play a game. I want to score nice goals. I want to score beautiful possession-based pl uh, plays and score goals from them. <clears throat> but at the same time, if I'm playing against a good opponent... I want to be able to nullify him, man. You know, I want to be able to kind of change my play style to suit the opponent that I'm playing. If I'm playing a guy that's playing two strikers up front, one tall, one small, and he's, you know, he's targeting, um, he's targeting like a lot of high ball or he's playing Lewandowski or ha Haaland where he's playing a lot of aerial ball where I can actually see what he's trying to do. I want to have the tools at my disposal to be able to stop that, whether it's man marking, whether it's positioning, whether it's manual defending, whether it's, you know, setting my formation up in a certain way or playing five at the back or playing four at the back. Um, and I just feel like at the moment, there is one play to, one way to play eFootball and that's it. And that's, you know, playing through the middle and playing fast, waiting for your opponent to make a mistake, whether against the it's against the AI or whether it's against, oh, it's a great ball. <sighs> whether it's against playing a, an opponent online, you know, and that's that's the problem. And what happens then is the skill gap becomes less and less because more stuff is being controlled by the AI, which defensively and attacking wise is both controlled by, you know, the computer. Like if you're playing manual, that's different, but you're, you can't control more than one player at a time. You know, you can ask a player to press. Yeah, but you can't control a player more than one player at a time. And that's, I think the biggest downfall of the game at the moment is that. You know, because obviously you'll be able to get into positions. But look at there. I mean, I just called Joao Cancelo there and he wins me the ball back. Like there's no skill based in that for me, apart from the fact that I've called him in. But the only way other option I have is to not call him in. Do you know, there's no there's no manualness to that. And sometimes when you win the ball back, it feels cheap and it feels undeserved. And like even there, that's a manual defense. But when I press here with Declan Rice, look at Declan Rice chasing here. Now look, it, it causes an upset. Rosicki. So yeah, it, there is a lot, man. There is a lot to be said about it. I think that it, it all comes down to, you know, whether or not you're going to enjoy the core gameplay. That's the big. That's the big question here. Again, absolutely makes bits of me. That seems to be brought in as well. These big overreactions to the skill moves, maybe to free up a bit of space on the wings for dribbles. So yeah, I do think that there is a lot left still to be done, lads. Genuinely, I do think that there's a lot left to be done. Um, now, depending on when I upload this video, I will be playing, I will be doing a stream, that's a nice running but a terrible pass from Ronaldo, I will be doing a stream where I'm going to be playing online, friendly match lobby, so if you guys have enjoyed that, let me know in the comments below or if you want another one, we might be able to do that as well. But yeah, the pressure is the big thing that they still need to balance, man. I don't know if they're going to change that anytime soon, you know, being able to put the pressure on, because you can't draw with another man, apart from that pressure... I don't know how they change it while still being able to press. Because you need to be able to press in a football game. It's a massive tactic. See, man, there's, that's what I'm talking about with the auto defending. Like, It's just, when you're playing on offline, right, that's fine. But when you're playing online, 
Like, it's way too easy to just do what I'm doing here, which is basically follow the runner and use the AI to defend for me. Oh, that's a great ball. Great to save, though, from Allison. And, like, there needs to be a balance between it in a, in a, in a much better way, I think. And, the, and another big thing as well is the shape of the players, right? If you're playing the game the way it's kind of meant to be played, and when I say what I mean by that is the way that the game, the way that the game rewards you to play, which is, you know, not really do much dribbling, fast, oh, terrible pass, fast, accurate passes, you know, very limited, ooh, went in and left a bit on me there, give me the free, I like to see that, I like to see the AI go in, Ronaldo, oh, lovely ball, from post, oh, what a goal, what a ball in, jeez, Bernardo, relax, buddy, we're already 1-0 up, you don't need to rub it in, that would be interesting to see as we play more and more games online and you guys play more and more games online. And and lads, let me know as well. Let me know what the crack is with what you think about it as well in the comments below. And if you are interested in the live streams, um, make sure and join them as well. I'll be playing them and playing a couple of matches and see how it goes online. Another cruncher going in here. Lovely. Oh, I like that little touch now. Oh, I like this play from Arsenal. Oh, what a ball! What a, what a chance. That was lovely, lads. That was a lovely build-up play. Ronaldo! He buried it, but he was offside. So, yeah, I think that, like, different patterns of play, attack, defense levels, stuff like that, that's kind of key going forward with the, with the offline gameplay. But it feels good. It's responsive. There's no massive mistakes being made by the AI. They're chasing down. They're tracking. They're going in for a couple of tackles. Um, you know, ref isn't really making a nuisance of himself. Couple of dribbles, couple of passes, getting good chances. Defensively, it seems to be fairly solid. It doesn't seem to be as chaotic as uh, as it is online, obviously, naturally enough. That's a great pass from Ronaldo. Shouldn't have went through by right, but it did. Still a bit of a catch up there, even offline with the slower defenders, but Bernardo Silva does get us the 1,600 points. We will play the next one as well in another episode but for now lads yeah i mean look my my opinion on the offline is kind of the same as online it's just way more responsive and you don't have to deal with any of the the crap that comes with with online you know of people playing with weird formations with 100 overall players all the time so that was on legend difficulty it was a fairly easy one i think it was even too easy um because you know i'm not the world's best player but that was a very easy one for me. We need 1,300 points for the next one so we can play that on Superstar if we want to, or even top player, I think. No, we need to play it on Superstar. Um, that might give us an extra challenge as well. But yeah, that is it for my offline impressions, lads. I already have my online impressions. We will continue to beast. We'll continue to, to play the game. A load of pack reviews as well. And I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Let me know your thoughts.